Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you another computer do-it-yourself repair video today. Uh, today we're working on a Lenovo laptop that won't start and is completely dead. Uh, this is a common solution we're going to show you for if your laptop, again, is completely dead and won't start at all. Uh, if your computer does start partway, if you hear fans turning or, or if anything uh, is starting partway, uh, we have other videos for that. Uh, there are specific repair videos for specific issues, and this video is specifically uh, for if your laptop is completely 100% dead. Uh, now this is a more intrusive fix than our other video. We do have another laptop repair video in our, our description, uh, a no power fix video. Try that first, uh, and if that doesn't work, then come back here and try this video, because uh, this video will involve getting into your computer a, a little more than that one, so save it for last. Um, so every laptop has a small battery on the motherboard called a CMOS battery, C-M-O-S. Uh, that supplies power to BIOS or your base system even when your computer's off. I'm going to show you how to go in, remove that battery, which will cause BIOS to reset to factory settings, and that can sometimes help your computer revive when it's completely dead. Uh, now don't confuse a BIOS reset with a system reset. Uh, that has to deal with your operating system. Uh, we're just dealing with the BIOS system right now. Now every computer will have one of these on the motherboard. This, these are examples of CMOS batteries. Uh, this is a loose one, which is more common. Uh, but you'll also see this every now and then, especially on some older computers. Um, it'll be wrapped and it'll have a plug into the motherboard. But that's what we're going to be looking for. So on this laptop, as you can see, there's no panel. Sometimes it'll have a little panel that I can access in order to um, get the CMOS battery. This unfortunately doesn't have one. So I have to take it off. So we're going to take out all the screws. Take off the bottom uh, case or the palm rest, however way this computer goes, and we'll show you where the CMOS battery is. In this particular laptop, I took my pry tool and I went in between the palm rests and the bottom case. There it comes. Put that aside. So there's the inside of your computer. Uh, here's my battery. It, it, it was kind of an external and internal battery. It, it's on the outside, so it's external. Uh, but you can't unplug it, it's not removable. So to be safe, I'm going to follow this cord in the motherboard right there. I'm going to unplug the motherboard from my battery, or unplug the battery from my motherboard rather. So apparently there's no seamless battery here, it's on the other side. So again, a more intrusive fix. I'm going to have to take the motherboard out to get to the seamless battery. So I'll start unplugging things. I already unplugged my battery. We'll unplug my, uh, whatever this is, take that out. Uh, unplug this little ribbon cable. Now these will have a little plastic, very fragile, a little plastic clip uh, that pops up. It's fragile so be careful with it. There we go. Slides right out and then I always slide them right back down so I don't break it. Uh, this one also, same thing. Pop it up. Looks like a keyboard. Uh, I'm also going to have to take off my Wi-Fi card because that's screwed down. <clears throat> I'm going to leave my antenna plugged into it though. Uh, disconnect my fan. A lot of things to disconnect in this one. I'm going to leave my RAM in. There's no screws under there. So I've unplugged everything. Oh, never mind. I lie. Take my hard drive out as well. That's plugged into the motherboard. Hard drives will usually be in caddies like this, so unscrew the caddy. You can leave the hard drive in the caddy if it is. Just take it off of the motherboard. Again, your computer will probably look a little 
different than this, but... Alright, I'll start taking out the motherboard. Yeah, be very careful. If something seems like it's not coming, be patient. You'll figure it out. Uh, don't want to break your motherboard. All right, so flipping this over, here is your CMOS battery. This is one of the ones we showed you. Again, it looked like either one of these two, and that's that's the one you got right there. So what you're going to do, you're going to unplug this CMOS battery, just like that. If it was the other kind of battery, you'd have to physically remove it from your motherboard, uh, but we can just unplug this one. You're going to leave it that way for 15 to 20 minutes, uh, and then reattach it uh, and close your, your computer back up, and that should be sufficient uh, to reset your BIOS. Now, if this was successful, uh, you'll need to access your BIOS utility and reconfigure some of your hardware settings, such as your date and time. Uh, there's a video in, in a link below that will show you how to, how to get in there and uh, then change your date and time. Uh, however, if this doesn't work and your computer still does not turn on, uh, there may be another issue. Uh, we have some videos down below on testing your charger first of all, then testing your power jack, and diagnosing other reasons why your computer may not be powering on. Um, but if this was in any way helpful, uh, please like and share. If you enjoyed do-it-yourself laptop videos, uh, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.